Netflix has dominated the streaming platform for over a decade now. It is just now that new competitors are being introduced like HBO Max, Paramount Plus, Amazon Prime, and they're starting to falter a little bit. This is the worst! Netflix has always made their money from subscriptions and brand deals. Now, when you're the only person on the block doing these things, doing online movies, online TV shows, and you even dabbled in making your own TV shows and own movies, you'll get subscriptions. They follow Blockbuster's formula, but just online. And people are more likely to go online than go drive all the way to Blockbuster. And that's why they ran them out of business. But it looks like now they're being ran out of business by just simple competition. Oh. Disney Plus is not going to give you all their shows anymore. They made their own service to give to their viewers, which has their original things on it. Netflix is playing a dangerous game because they're not worried about the quality of the show. They're worried if this show can go viral. They want this show to have memes, TikToks, good wording so people know some jokes and they laugh and they tell their friends about it. So it just drives up more subscriptions and people see the show more. It's a foolproof plan when you are the only person selling what you're selling and you have a big market now you've shrunk in your market so much to the point where people are sharing passwords and sharing accounts so you can't really make the money off of just buying the subscription anymore you gotta make money in different ways wow. so of course that starts with cutting off the sharing the passwords then slowly with starting to introduce ads and new programs that if they don't perform well in the first season, they're just gonna cancel them and move on and hope that something else hits very fast. Now, why this is dangerous is that they've built a whole generation raised on Netflix. These kids and some of these adults that have kids are used to having no ads, and now they have to introduce ads to make a buck because they're not making that much money off subscriptions anymore, even though it's business never really made money they're not making enough money to claim that they're not making any money it's a whole big thing but they're not making enough money to justify not having ads okay at the end of the day it's going to be a very hard process to convert all these people that you converted into non-ad watchers back into ad watchers it took you 10 years to do that it's going to take you another 10 to reprogram those people into liking ads or at least watching ads and at the same time you're competing with IPs like Disney, Warner Brothers, and others that already have a pre-established backlog. You don't have that big of a backlog. All you can do is make new things. And those new things have to compete with the old things and the new things that they're still putting out, which is very quality in my opinion. Disney Plus and uh, HBO Max have been putting out really good things lately, and Amazon. They've been putting out great things in their originals. It's gonna be very hard for Netflix to find footing and this new behemoth that it created. But at the end of the day, I do think they'll come out unscathed. And I mean, in the very long run, like 10 plus years, they'll still be here. It's gonna be a different Netflix than we know. It's probably gonna be mostly ads by that point, but they need it. That's how they're gonna survive. Yeah.